All right, y'all, it's the next day. I added something to the last video. I took this apart again, the top frame I took off and then the motors because this wasn't tight and it was, um, it's not something you can do after. You wanna make sure you tighten that up really well before. So I looked at this diagram and it talked about motors one and three, but let me show you, I'm actually using this tool here at the bottom and this tool to tighten that screw up. So I have one here and one on this side. But anyway, that'll save you some time. But do it before you put on the motors in the top part because you can't adjust it after. I thought it was a small enough cap where I could just tighten it after. But as you see, it needs a little bit of pressure. So use this one here and that here at the top and then it actually pops out a little bit and that prevents it from wiggling which is what I was having in business and now this is on tight it's not wobbling around and this front two are going to be empty when we plug those in arrow facing that way just like it looks like there this is from the Holy Bro website all right let me put the top plate back on and show you everything one and three Motors one and three, the arrow pointing that way, pick sock, and the telemetry on the left. So that's what we're setting up here for. So one and three, and then you have two and four opposite of the arrow. And then again, this is how you screw on the motors. You know, these just fit into there. And then you can use this at the bottom with this to tighten it up so that there's no gaps. That took probably an extra 30 minutes of time for me. I had to take it apart and tighten it back up, but this should help with that. I'm back, y'all. Let's finish putting this together and then we'll do another video to program it and fly it. So this is where we are. I took it apart. I tightened all this up here. I mounted the GPS here on top. I tighten these screws here for the GPS and then also this swivel. So I need to tighten that up a little bit more. There's a screw in here. Pixhawk 6C. I'm not gonna put that in yet, but that's gonna go here. I put these 3M pads there to attach it to. Uh, we got these cables connected. I left the two front ones open so you can see the orientation of that. So these two in here are open and I connected all the motors on the, there's two on this side. I attached the telemetry radio here on top. And what else? I'll just put these here for the battery. I was wondering where that went. All right, this is where the motors go. So let's start plugging some of this stuff in. So I brought these motor cables out the back. So in the front, or whatever way you wanna call it, I have the GPS on this side, All right? The arrows are pointing this direction and out the back, I brought these cables and I plug those into here. I left one so we could do it together, M4. Uh, the white cable goes on top. This side is going to go into the power distribution board. I'm sorry, this side will. So that goes in there. Then you take this cable here, and stick it in this port, and that is gonna go into the pig sock. And then this one is gonna stick down in the bottom of this rectangular hole that's there. And you gotta take your time putting that in there so that you don't damage the cord. This is that other cable coming from the power module that goes up here and into power in the first first one here so let's take that 
and then I put that right here into power. GPS plugs into the GPS module. Now we have this telemetry cable that goes, there we go, that fits in there like that. So again, you have the, the module unit here that goes in this first one, telemetry, I put it on this side. GPS, this cable is running from here. And then on here is the, um, the cable for the, uh, the power cable. These propellers, we'll put these on. Again, there's a, this one with this white. I needed both hands actually for this because you actually have to just kind of hold it screw it on there just make sure it's tight and then the same on this side so I'm gonna take these off I just wanted you all to see how to put them on but um, for the next phase especially like testing you don't want to have these on when you do the tests because uh, I've got cut with these before so anyway there you have it so a uh, battery would go here. I'm going to see if um, this takes a different battery. This is a 3200 that I got off my apprentice. And then it, the cable would just slide into where I put this yellow port. But uh, I've read another website that mentioned maybe 5000 is proper for it. So I'll double check that and I'll let you know on the next video. The only other thing I wanted to show you is I did have a different remote that I purchased. Let's see. I actually uh, bought this off the Holy Bro website. It is Radio Master. It's the one they recommend. It's beautiful. Uh, well, I'll take it out this way. So it is the... Um, the Radio Master TX16S is the one that they recommended that I purchased. So I also have to get this programmed as well, put some batteries in here, and get it all set up. That will be in the next video. But at least we got all this together for now. And it's kind of cool. I'll show you what happens. I actually plugged it in to my laptop go on to the website rgpilot.org and download mission planner there's a video online that talks about it that they recommend it it says uh if you want instructions there's a video here and that takes you to this video on youtube uh, with this gentleman christopher christopher lum so i'm actually installing it for the first time make sure you have a um a computer that has enough space and it also has enough speed for it as well and as you see mission planner is downloading and then it says here I'm just gonna click finish and it says completed mission planner setup and wizard I'll click this box so we can see when it opens Oh yeah, Mission Planner, version 1.3.8. And there we have it, Mission Planner. So this is what we're gonna use for the next phase to actually um, do all the calibration and connect everything. But like I was saying earlier, it's kind of cool when I plug this in. And then I plug this port into the flight controller. See what happens. So you got the GPS flashing, telemetry, and then the Pixhawk 6C is flashing as well. So 
That's good. And then we'll have to go in and set all the, um, do all the settings. But special to share this moment with you all. Like we've achieved some success here. So that means everything is uh, plugged in and we can move on to the programming phase. All right, till the next video, y'all know what to do. Keep it weird.